Welcome. Our topic for today is about oxygen sensor. In this discussion we covered. What is an oxygen sensor? Function of an oxygen sensor. Symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor. When to replace oxygen sensor. Working principle. Applications. What is an oxygen sensor? An oxygen sensor is one type of sensor and it is available in the exhaust system of an automobile. The size and shape of this sensor look like a spark plug. Based on its arrangement in regard to the catalytic converter, this sensor can be arranged before upstream or after downstream the converter. Most of the automobiles which are designed after 1990 include upstream and downstream O2 sensors. The oxygen sensors used in automobiles are one sensor is arranged in front of the catalytic converter and one is arranged in every exhaust manifold of the automobile. But the maximum number of these sensors in a car mainly depends on the engine, model, year. But most of the vehicles have four sensors. Function of an oxygen sensor The oxygen sensor senses the amount of oxygen in the vehicle's exhaust. It is usually located in the exhaust pipe. The oxygen sensor reading is used by the engine control unit to regulate the amount of air and fuel sent to the engine. The oxygen sensor mainly serves two purposes, it helps maintain the perfect air-fuel ratio, thereby preventing the engine from running lean-rich, it also reduces the exhaust emissions. One end of the oxygen sensor detects the amount of oxygen while the other end connects to the wiring that relays the sensor's reading to the ECU. Heated and non-heated oxygen sensors. Oxygen sensors need an optimal temperature of 650 degrees Fahrenheit to function effectively. Non-heated sensors, which were used in older automobiles, were heated by the exhaust gases. The disadvantage of these sensors were that it could take a minute or longer to reach the temperature required for operation. Non-heated sensors overcame this problem through a heating element, a resistor which heats the sensor to the required temperature for operation. Narrowband and Wideband Oxygen Sensors Narrowband oxygen sensors inform the ECU whether the engine is running lean or rich with reference to the stoichiometric air-fuel ratio. Wideband oxygen sensors, commonly referred to as air-fuel ratio sensors, tell the ECU how rich or lean the engine is running in comparison with the stoichiometric ratio. Wideband oxygen sensors are commonly used in newer automobiles. Upstream and downstream sensors. The upstream oxygen sensor is situated before the catalytic converter whereas the downstream oxygen sensor is located after the catalytic converter. The upstream sensor monitors the level of pollutants in the engine's exhaust and sends this information to the ECU that continuously adjusts the air-fuel ratio. The downstream sensor measures the level of pollutant passing through the catalytic converter. The information from the upstream and downstream sensors are compared by the ECU. If the readings from the two sensors become more similar to each other, the ECU triggers a catalyst inefficiency code. Symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor When the oxygen sensor starts to fail, it exhibits a few symptoms. Some of them are as follows. Check engine light comes on. Bad gas mileage and rotten egg smell. Rough engine idle and misfires. Check engine light comes on. The first line of defense is the check engine light. The check engine light will illuminate if you have a bad or failing oxygen sensor. As soon as this light comes on, contact a professional automotive technician for a check engine light inspection. This light can come on for many different reasons so it is important to have it looked at by a professional who can correctly diagnose the exact cause. If you have high mileage vehicle, there's a good chance it has a bad oxygen sensor in need of replacement. Bad gas mileage and rotten egg smell. If the oxygen sensor is going bad, the fuel delivery and fuel combustion systems will be thrown off. If a bad oxygen sensor disrupts the air to fuel ratio mixture, or too much fuel is injected into the engine, your vehicle's gas mileage will be reduced. This excess fuel in the engine can produce a sulfuric, rotten egg smell, and may even produce black smoke from the exhaust. If you're self-filling up your gas tank more often, keep a record of how many gallons you fill up with and how often. If it is more than normal, have a professional mechanic check out your oxygen sensor. Rough engine idle and misfires. 
As your oxygen sensor is going bad you may notice your vehicle is running rough, misfiring or running irregularly while idling. You may also observe other engine performance problems, such as loss of power, hesitation, or stalling. Since the oxygen sensor output helps control engine timing, combustion intervals, and the air to fuel ratio, a bad sensor can disrupt these engine functions, causing a rough or irregular engine idle and other engine related issues. When to replace the oxygen sensor? If your vehicle was manufactured within the past 15 years, the oxygen sensor should be replaced every 60,000 to 90,000 miles. This sensor does wear out and will need a replacement over time. Replacement of a bad or failing oxygen sensor will reduce the level of emissions your vehicle puts into the atmosphere while keeping your engine running smoothly and properly. Working Principle The working principle of the O2 sensor is to check the oxygen amount within the exhaust. Fiercely, this oxygen was added to the fuel for good ignition. The communication of this sensor can be done with the help of a voltage signal. So the oxygen status in the exhaust will be decided by the computer of the car. The computer regulates the mixture of fuel or oxygen delivered to the car engine. The arrangement of the sensor before and after the catalytic converter permits to maintain the hygiene of the exhaust and check the converter's efficiency. Here is a question for you, what are the advantages of oxygen sensor? 